We all at the same table? Oh, look, there's extra places. They must have thought we'd be bringing dates. I guess you'll just have to be my date for the evening. I was supposed to have a date, you know, but that loser Pan stood me up. Can you believe it? This is totally embarrassing. Everyone will expect me to have a date. What, you don't want to be my date? Oh, bro. Uh, Athena, I have my reputation to maintain. That's Senator Athena. Thank you very much. Oh, I wouldn't want anyone to think I was hanging around with political low lives. Zeus, darling, would you get me a white wine spritzer? And not that dreadful Chardonnay, something a little more interesting. Yes, dear. Oh, and <laughs> would you return right away? Yes, dear. <laughs> Got the hubby on a short leash tonight, Kara? Can't say I blame you, given his history. <laughs> that was a cold floor, even for you, Athena. You know, you need your father and me for your re-election campaign, so it would be uh, ill-advised for you to start in with that acid tongue of yours. Sweetheart, let me spell it out for you, Hera. I have never needed you. And whatever my relationship is with my father, it's none of your business. Ooh, what's this? Maybe it's a party favor. I love party favors. <laughs> what makes you think it's for you? What is it? It's an apple, a golden apple. Looks like 24 karat plate. They'll probably play some sort of game to decide who gets it. <laughs> I'm good at those games. <coughs> Let me see. Maybe it's meant for the person who finds it. You're a piece of work, Aphrodite. You set your sights on something you want, and there's no stopping you. Quickly, like a little child. Let me have a look. Come on, hand it over. Oh, oh. Hmm. I just want a little sweet as ever, I see, Athena. Nice. Don't get any ideas, ladies. We're going to sit here and wait for the announcement about who gets to claim the apple. I don't see any on the other tables. That's probably because someone pocketed it before anyone else saw it. No, no, she's right. There's an empty table over there. No apple, see? Then we're back to finders keepers. Possession is nine tenths of the law. And I am in possession. <laughs> so read it and weep, ladies. Wait, wait, but there's something on the bottom. Here, wait. Hey, you controlling, conniving little matter, Athena. <laughs> Can't take what you dish out. Just remember, we're at a wedding. It may be beyond your ability, but try to behave with some style. Oh, look, it's engraved. Very nice engraving. Does it say Aphrodite on it? No. It says, for the fairest. <laughs> <laughs> this is where we get to talk to you about them, their fate, their destiny this evening. There they stand. Three beautiful and powerful women, goddesses all in their own right, acting like children on the playground, fighting over a small, insignificant bauble. By the way, it's a lovely wedding. We don't like bridesmaid outfits. Puppy's leaves are so nice. And what is with the mole hair? A bride with bad taste. I didn't see that coming. But we digress. Three goddesses <laughs> admired and feared, bickering over that trinket. They have no understanding of what is about to happen of what forces that golden apple has set into motion, of how their destinies are out of their control. The apple asks them to decide who is the fairest, but what is meant by fairest and who decides? All's fair in love and war. Aphrodite and Athena know that only too well. Aphrodite, purveyor of love and beauty to a generation of young women. The most respected fashion magazine in the world is hers. She has made a generation of women believe that they are inadequate, incomplete, and unlovable, unless they follow her lead. The power of shaping public opinion is her power. Athena, chair of the Senate Subcommittee on Defense Spending. She barters in the back rooms of Congress to determine what wars are funded, what political agendas are advanced. Raw global power is hers. The power to determine who lives and who dies. And Hera, her power comes from her husband, the mighty Zeus. Mighty? His might is no measure for hers. She rules the corporate and financial world, an empire built on property, profits, and pure passion for control. But each of these goddesses has weaknesses. They, they are, after all, merely human. The Paris? That would be me, you moron. <laughs> Get over yourself, Aphrodite. I think we'd all agree I'm the Paris. Haven't you heard? Power is sexy. Oh, you are so <laughs> full of your own power. You know, it's about time you see you can't win every contest. I'm the fairest. Well, ladies, neither of you is getting this out. Oh, and no, Mary Richie, it's not a your business. No one would mistake you for being the fairest. I found it. It's mine. No, it's mine. What in the Hades is 
going on here. <laughs>
or what? Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> or I'll tell your father how you treat me when he's not around. You're being great. Athena has the ability to stir up trouble wherever she goes. That is a low blow. Do you know who I am? I'll sue the collective pants or puppy sleeves of you if you continue. So sue us. Truth is a defense. Athena's ultimate weakness, her real flaw, is her father, Zeus. She has never been able to accept the fact that she is not the first for his attention. You little bitches! <laughs> <laughs>
arbitrator, a mediator, a judge to resolve our <laughs> I'm no judge. Yes, well, that's quite clear, dear, but I can handle this. What are you up to, Harold? Hear me out, everyone. I right, maybe should have opted for the bar. Harris, <laughs> we found this golden apple on our table. We think it's a party favor. On the bottom, it says, for the Ferris. There seems to be some silly disagreement among us <laughs> about who's the Ferris. So we want you to decide. <laughs> That's it? Well, sure. And then you'll write my toast for me? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> What's the catch? Oh, there's no catch. Just, just tell us who's the Ferris. Great show, Harold. Great show. But don't you think we all should have a chance to make our case to Mary? Oh, as if that will make a difference. But uh, go ahead. <laughs> all right, Athena. Make your case. Not in front of you. We should each make our case to Paris in private. Now, Paris, come with me. I'm sure we can find a private corner. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now? Um, I'm at a wedding, and I'm about to give a toast. No. I mean, do you have a job? Oh, I'm working on that one. I thought so. I'm prepared to make you a proper offer. All you have to do is choose me. An offer? I'm a senator. I have a lot of influence. Okay. I could make it worth your while to choose me. Say, an appointment in the Department of Defense. Well, I, you know, have to go into the Army? Uh, no. <laughs> it would be a regular job. A very important job. In an office. Cool. And, uh, <laughs> all I have to do is pick you. That's all. Now, the others are going to try to convince you that they are the fairest, but if you choose me, you will have more power than you've ever imagined. Cool. <laughs> so you'll do it. I guess. Good. Uh, no amount of bargaining will change the results. You can argue, offer, a bribe. Hey, what, are you eavesdropping? Nothing will change the truth. Events will unfold as they must. The question is, do you want us to tell you? <laughs> I think we've had enough gloom and doom for one evening. Paris, darling, why don't you and I take a stroll? <laughs> <laughs>
Paris, do you think that I'm beautiful? Uh, yeah, very beautiful. Oh, then do we have an understanding? Uh, all I have to do is pick you, and I'll pick the most beautiful woman in the world. For myself. Right. Like, for a night or what? <laughs> Just hear them out, then maybe they'll shut up. 
<laughs> All right. What? Go on. Revenge is yours. You have only to cast a spell on Helen. She will fall in love with Paris and leave Menelaus. Are you kidding me? That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. I don't want Paris to be with Helen. I want him to be with me. Aren't you listening? Listening isn't our strong suit. <laughs> <laughs> this you will do. Are you satisfied, Hera? You made me listen to this drivel. I refuse to cave in to an extortion by this group of harpies. Actually, technically we're not harpies. It's an expression already! <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This is idiotic, you know, but I could see putting Helen in her own place. She's always been too snotty for her own good. Hmm. Thanks, but no thanks. And in the future, hand out your advice to someone else. Trust us. This won't turn out well for Helen and Paris. Menelaus will be furious. He and his brother Agamemnon will lay siege to the city of Troy, where Paris will be hiding with Helen. Then there'll be that nasty business of the Trojan horse. You'll be hearing about the Trojan War for a long, long time. You, Aphrodite, will go down in legend, then myth, for centuries for setting the events in motion. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, <laughs> you almost had me there for a moment. You are a nasty piece of work spreading those stories. And what the hell's a Trojan horse? Oh, now I know why we get the expression, always a bridesmaid, never a bride. Oh, is that in your arsenal, cliches? Oh, here comes Zeus. He'll know what to do. Daddy, where's my drink? Sorry, I don't remember you asking for one. <laughs> don't just say a word. Uh, Zeus, we need you to decide what Aphrodite should do. No one needs to decide for me. I am not doing what the chorus said. Anyway, Zeus, it seems that the chorus wants Aphrodite to enchant Helen, so she'll leave her husband to be with Paris. And then Menelaus will start some war or something, very messy business, something involving a horse. Indeed. But sometimes messy is exactly what's needed. That's what we said. You didn't say that. <laughs> did you? Did, did, did not. Okay, now, just stop the bit. What is the advantage of this spell? It is going to happen anyway. And if Aphrodite says no, she, it's, a, it's her right to know. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. She can't say no. This, this is, is her destiny. destiny. See what I'm up against? A regular space in puffy clothing. I see. <laughs> I suppose we have to trust them. You're not suggesting that I do this spell thing, are you? It seems to me you could have some powerful revenge on Paris by angry Menelaus. We don't even know what that will happen. It's just speculation on their part. Not if I know my Greek choruses. <laughs> they have a handle on what will go on. We would stake a reputation now, <laughs> such as it is. My mind is made up. I won't do it. <laughs> and it looks like it's up to me. So much for predetermination, you witches. What do you make of this? <laughs> Seriously, go. Seriously. It's a dumb deal. <laughs> yeah! Now you must do your part. It must never be known that I cast a spell. I'm already accused of enough interference, but too much of the affairs of you. Aphrodite will henceforth be known as the one who cast the spell. Revenge is sweet. Our revenge on all you doubters. Forevermore, should any of you try to say that Zeus cast the spell that started the Trojan War, you will not be believed. No one will believe you, Aphrodite. But that's not fair! You're, you're putting this on me! All's well that ends well. But this isn't ending well. I get blamed and I don't even get the apple. How about them apples? <laughs> <laughs> it's not fair! And you thought you were the fairest. No one said life is fair. <laughs> You wouldn't do this to me if I was your daughter. You wouldn't do this to Athena. Well, <laughs> that's not technically true. What? I suppose there's no, no time to tell you this, Aphrodite. <laughs> you have that story about your birth? No, oh, Sue, it's not that nasty story about someone being castrated. You tell that at every party. His <laughs> <laughs> testicles were thrown into the ocean.
believe that story was a little, just a little bedtime story. A uh, what? The truth is, I am your father. <laughs> just ask Homer, the guy who wrote the Iliad, not the other guy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's enough. But that would make you my sister. No! That's a lie! You cannot come in here and make up that story. What do you know about this? Out of it! Our lips are sealed. How much more abuse can we take? So we're just going to shut it. You know, no more gloom and doom. You go ahead with your so-called free will and figure this one out on your own. It's true, Aphrodite. You and Athena and Helen are sisters. Isn't it wonderful? And I love you all equally. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Shut, Shut 